Welcome to Echoes of the Week. I'm Devika. Let's have a ride through the past week's major headline from around the globe. Canada's rail shutdown, which began early Thursday, will end Monday after federal board ruling. The four-day stoppage has already caused significant economic damage, with Moody's estimating a daily loss of $341 million. Agriculture, forestry and manufacturing are among the hardest-hit sectors. The shutdown impacting both Canadian National Railways and Canadian Pacific Kansas City has also disrupted freight shipments and commuters. Companies are now assessing the full impact of these delays. Organizers of Ottawa Pride Parade faced controversy after deciding to boycott Israeli companies. This decision led several participants, including the Federal Liberal Party and the U.S. Embassy, and some civil servants to withdraw from the event. Critics argued that the boycott excluded and alienated certain groups, while the organizers defended their stance and response to human rights issues. The debate over the boycott continues as the parade approached. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived in Warsaw, marking the first visit by an Indian leader to Poland in 45 years. His trip, which also included a stop in Kiev, aimed to strengthen bilateral ties and discuss support for Ukraine. In Kiev, Modi was set to meet President Zelensky amid the ongoing conflict with Russia. The visit highlighted India's commitment to global diplomacy and peace efforts in the region. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has ended his independent presidential campaign and endorsed former President Donald Trump. Kennedy, who initially ran as Democrat, cited agreement on key issues with Trump, including broader security and free speech. Despite Kennedy's low poll number, Trump welcomed the endorsement at the rally in Arizona. Kennedy will withdraw from ballot in key states while remaining a candidate elsewhere. The move has sparked mixed reactions from both the parties. Hezbollah has announced that the first phase of the attack on Israel is complete following a series of rocket and drone strikes. Israel's military responded with a preemptive air strike on Hezbollah's target. Lebanon's health ministry reports three fatalities from the conflict, while Israel says the damage from the rockets were minimal. This escalation comes after killing of Hezbollah's commander last month and marks a significant increase in regional tension. of MC Newsroom, this is Devika signing off for Echoes of the Week, where stories resonate and perspectives echo. Stay tuned for more insightful reflections.